Imagine a world where cars never need to refuel, recharge, or stop for energy again. A world where mobility is powered not by combustion or battery chemistry, but by invisible energy drawn directly from the environment itself. That world may not be as far away as once thought. In late 2025, a shocking document surfaced online claiming that a team of scientists had verified the existence of a working self-powered vehicle designed by Maxwell Chikambutso. For years, his name has been surrounded by controversy, fascination, and disbelief. But this time, something different happened. For the first time, what appears to be scientific proof entered the conversation. It began quietly, with a PDF circulating through private research networks. It contained detailed measurements, power readings, and sensor data allegedly collected during a closed-door test in Harare, Zimbabwe. The report, stamped with the initials of a South African Research Council, described energy readings that could not be explained by traditional battery chemistry. No external energy source was detected. The car continued to operate under full electrical load for over 72 hours without showing a decrease in stored energy. It was as if the system replenished itself continuously. Scientists involved reportedly signed non-disclosure agreements before attending the test. The report used highly technical language, referencing electromagnetic resonance, ambient frequency harvesting, and dielectric field loops. To most readers, it sounded like science fiction. But the signatures on the document told another story. Among them were two professors from the University of Pretoria's Department of Electrical Engineering. Another name belonged to an energy systems analyst from the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, or CSIR. That's where things became truly interesting. If the document was authentic, it suggested that South African institutions had witnessed what could be the world's first verified self-powered car. And if that was the case, then the laws of energy as we know them would need serious rewriting. The story broke quietly on a small Zimbabwean tech blog in early October 2025. Within hours, screenshots spread across social media platforms. The title read simply, Scientific team confirms Chikambutso's vehicle generates its own power. Comment sections exploded with skepticism, excitement, and confusion. Some called it the biggest scientific revelation of the century. Others dismissed it as another hoax dressed in technical jargon. But the document contained real names and real data, and that was enough to spark a new wave of investigations. A few independent engineers attempted to replicate the results based on Chikambutso's earlier patents. They claimed the design used a series of coils arranged in geometric harmony to amplify magnetic resonance. Instead of consuming stored power, it recycled energy in a continuous feedback loop. In layman's terms, the car generated more energy than it used. A violation of classical thermodynamics, yet something that, if proven true, could transform transportation forever. Video clips began to circulate showing what appeared to be a black and silver SUV driving for hours without charging. The sound of a low-frequency hum could be heard faintly from under the vehicle. No exhaust. No power cable. Just silent motion. The car's dashboard reportedly displayed a constant 100% energy level during the entire test period. For Maxwell, it was vindication decades in the making. He had claimed for years that his greener power machine could produce clean, limitless energy. He had faced ridicule, bans, and silence from global manufacturers unwilling to challenge existing systems. Now, the idea seemed to have found scientific footing. If true, this single report could rewrite global energy strategy. Imagine electric vehicles no longer bound to charging stations or grid dependency. Imagine remote African villages powering homes and transport with no fuel, no cables, and no emissions. Governments and corporations began quietly paying attention. Emails leaked between energy officials discussing containment of premature disclosure. Private investors reportedly reached out to Chikambutso's team within days. By mid-November, whispers of a formal demonstration began to circulate. But as quickly as the evidence appeared, it began to vanish. Links to the original report disappeared. Social media posts discussing it were flagged for misinformation. University representatives denied any official involvement. 
one of the supposed signatories publicly stated had never witnessed any such test. The mystery deepened. Why would a legitimate scientific verification suddenly dissolve into denial? Was the report fake from the beginning? Or was there pressure to retract it before it reached the mainstream? That's when the second half of the story began. One wrapped in speculation, secrecy, and rumor. Some insiders claimed the vehicle did exist, but that it operated on classified electromagnetic principles not ready for public disclosure. They hinted that Maxwell's prototype was using a frequency harvesting system tapping into atmospheric RF energy. Others suggested the test results had been genuine, but the technology had been quietly purchased or suppressed by a major automotive conglomerate. According to one rumor, representatives from a German automaker had been seen meeting with Maxwell's engineers just days before the report disappeared. There were also claims of international pressure. Energy monopolies stood to lose trillions if a truly self-powered car became real. A few posts from anonymous accounts hinted that offers had been made to buy silence or license the patent under confidentiality. But on the other hand, skeptics raised valid scientific concerns. No credible peer-reviewed publication had confirmed any of the data. The report lacked institutional letterheads and used unusual formatting inconsistent with official research papers. Certain terms like energy self-harmonic recycling didn't appear in any known scientific lexicon. It could all have been an elaborate hoax, crafted with technical vocabulary to mimic legitimacy. Perhaps it was designed to boost Maxwell's public profile or attract investors. If that was true, it was a clever illusion, but nothing more. And yet, the silence from institutions remained suspicious. If it was fake, why not simply disprove it? Why the sudden disappearance of files, retracted tweets, and suspended accounts? The more the story was buried, the more people began to believe it might actually be true. Several witnesses claimed they had seen the self-powered car in operation at a warehouse on the outskirts of Hurai. They described how engineers connected meters to measure current flow, only to discover the readings remained stable even after extended load testing. One journalist described being asked to leave the facility after questioning how the system generated power. Another claimed that a US-based energy firm had expressed interest in acquiring the design for further development. The rumors continued to multiply. A YouTube channel released what it claimed was a fragment of the original test footage. In the video, a voice off-camera stated, power source disconnected, system stable. Viewers noticed a faint electromagnetic flicker in the frame, possibly from interference. Others dismissed it as a poorly edited fake. But something about the silence from Maxwell's camp made people wonder. He did not confirm or deny the authenticity of the leaked footage. Instead, he posted a cryptic message on social media, truth does not need defending. It reveals itself in time. That single post reignited the frenzy. Supporters declared it as indirect confirmation that the self-powered car was indeed real. Critics called it calculated vagueness meant to sustain mystery and attract attention. The truth seemed suspended somewhere between science and speculation. Around the same time, journalists noticed unusual energy research funding appearing in southern Africa. Private investors began pouring money into companies exploring wireless power and ambient energy conversion. Coincidence, or the quiet beginning of a new energy race? In Hurray, unmarked trucks were seen moving equipment from an industrial site rumored to belong to Maxwell's research group. Satellite images revealed construction at the location had intensified after the alleged scientific report surfaced. No official explanation was provided. Meanwhile, online forums analyzed every technical line of the leaked document. Some parts appeared scientifically consistent, referencing Tesla-style resonant systems. Other parts were almost poetic, using vague language about nature's eternal field. It was either genius cloaked in mysticism, or mysticism pretending to be genius. At this point, belief became a matter of perspective. For those who already trusted Maxwell's work, the scientific proof was the validation they had waited years to see. For scientists trained in classical physics, the report was nothing more than pseudoscience wrapped in mystery. But the broader question lingered, what if both sides were partly right? 
What if Maxwell's system wasn't truly violating physics, but rather operating on principles not yet understood? History has shown that many revolutionary ideas were once dismissed as impossible. Wireless communication, flight, nuclear power, all faced ridicule before proof emerged. Could this be another such moment? If Maxwell's car is real, humanity could step into a post-energy era. Cars, homes, and factories could operate autonomously without a drop of fuel or what from the grid. But if it's not real, it serves as a fascinating case study of belief, innovation, and the human desire for limitless energy. Even as evidence fades, whispers of tests continue to surface. A researcher in Kenya claimed to have seen blueprints resembling Maxwell's layout. A retired engineer in Namibia said he once received a job offer to calibrate field emission control systems for a mysterious Zimbabwean vehicle project. Each story added another layer to the myth. Each denial made it harder to separate truth from fiction. In December 2025, an unverified clip surfaced showing a convoy of covered vehicles leaving an airfield in South Africa. Observers insisted one of them was the self-powered prototype being transported under military escort. Officials refused to comment. Within days, conspiracy theories exploded. Some claimed the car had been seized for testing under international supervision. Others believed it was on its way to a secret collaboration facility backed by a major U.S. defense contractor. The facts were nowhere to be found. And yet, the narrative refused to die. Because deep down, people wanted it to be true. A clean, endless power source born from African ingenuity would change the world's balance forever. It would rewrite who controls energy, who profits from it, and who sets the rules for progress. Maybe that's why so many forces might prefer it to remain hidden. Or maybe the simpler answer is the real one, that it just never worked. That it was an ambitious dream that misfired under the weight of expectation. Either way, the legend has already done its work. It has made millions rethink what's possible. It has reignited curiosity about electromagnetic energy, free power, and untapped potential. And it has ensured that the name Maxwell Chikambutso will forever live at the crossroads of genius and myth. So where does the truth stand today? Perhaps in a lab somewhere, a small team is still refining the system, perfecting what the world isn't ready to see. Or perhaps the car sits quietly in storage, its promise buried under layers of rumor and forgotten hope. Some say the proof was real but suppressed. Others say it never existed. The story remains unsolved, like a modern scientific ghost, haunting, hopeful, and hard to ignore. Because once the idea of limitless energy enters human imagination, it never truly disappears. It lingers waiting for the moment it might finally be proven real. And when that moment arrives, if it ever does, the world will remember the name that started it all. Maxwell Chikambutso, the man who may, or may not, have already changed the future,